Brent Tech here. Where tech is made simple. I posted a video early December last year that Microsoft had started making it easier to set the default browser in Windows 11. And at the time of posting that video, uh, this feature was available in the latest dev uh, channel build of the time where Microsoft was testing a new button in the default apps section of settings in Windows 11, which let you easily set the default browser for your device. Now, if you have been running Windows 11 for some time now, you will know that to set a default browser uh, in the Windows 11 operating system is quite a mission, as you have to set a whole lot of different protocols uh, that you have to change for each protocol of the browser. It's not like Windows 10, where you just go to default apps and you click one button to change the default browser. It's been quite a process. Now, earlier today, I posted a video on uh, Windows 11 update KB5011563, which is the latest optional preview update, which rolled out for Windows 11 on the 28th of March 2022, with, which comes with a new feature, a notifications feature, um, a watermark for unsupported hardware and numerous bug fixes. Now, in the change log of that latest uh, build, which is 22,000.593, um, Microsoft lists, you know, the new feature, some add-ons, all the bug fixes, but they don't actually list a feature which I think most will find the most useful, especially to do with setting your default browser. And now with this latest build, after applying that update KB5011563, you now have the ability to set your default browser with a single click, just like you can again in Windows 10. So to demonstrate, let's just head to our settings menu. And then we just head to apps and click on default apps. Now, if we go to any browser, I'm just going to go to Brave Browser as the first example. If we open that, previously you had to set all the different protocols as mentioned. Now you will see you have one uh, button which is now available. Make Brave your default browser and you click that and the browser now is your default browser. So it looks like uh, Microsoft has been listening to user feedback as this has been a challenge for most. Yeah, we can see with Firefox, set defaults. And if we just go down to Chrome, again, set default. So you get the picture. So that is available now. And that was a feature which actually, as mentioned, Microsoft didn't mention in any release notes that rolled out on the 28th of March in that latest optional update for Windows 11, the stable version, KB5011563, where you can now set your default browser with one button and one click. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.